this year we really wanted to focus on the narrative of what had happened over the past year. Um, and one thing that we really saw was a focus on building um, and building the infrastructure. If you have a Bitcoin node running and a Lightning node running and you want to change the port on the Lightning node, the Bitcoin node has no idea about that. Or if you want to change the RPC port on Bitcoin node, the Lightning node has no insight into that. You can't refer to values uh, from each other. You know, a lot of work still does need to be done on the base layer. Like we can talk about layer two and so on, but you know, even with Lightning, you know, if we get to a point where everyone wants to open and close channels, we're going to be back in the same position where the network's really congested with on-chain transactions. I feel like we're kind of focusing on like fundamentals right now. Like we really need to bolster our actual API documentation so people can start to like actually use it. It's such a unique conference in that it really does get to the heart of uh, heart of Bitcoin Core and the heart of Bitcoin development, which a lot of other conferences uh, that are more product focused don't do, so it really is a good way to ground yourself in what's going on with Bitcoin. One thing that we wanted to bring to this is that, and what we focus on every year, is to kind of bring um, a technical and academic rigor to the space. You then reveal M on the sidechain, and the sidechain validators can verify this equation is satisfied. Electronic data capture or um, trial management software. Yeah. Um, we want to plug into those systems and make them more auditable, more secure. Okay. That's big picture. This year, we really wanted to bring back the the hackathon, um, and we have a number of tracks this year. I went to India and recruited all of these folks. We're pretty excited to have them. Uh, they all come from all different walks of life, and uh, they're quite brilliant, and we're really excited that they're here with us. The experience itself is amazing. A lot of cool people and full of energy. Well, we're first setting, starting with a nice template to begin work so that we can start efficiently, and most of us are now learning React for the first time to make that happen. So, good learning experience so far. Everything has to be done by noon tomorrow uploaded to the dev post and that's when we're going to start judging. You'll find out by three o'clock who won because then we're going to announce and then the winners will get to present at the Bitcoin Expo at 3.15. This year's MIT Bitcoin Expo is actually three events. Uh, so it's the Expo, it's Crypto Economic Systems, and it's the Hackathon. A lot of people in the past were asking, like, is there a way to submit papers or have some kind of review process? Um, and it seemed like a really great way to allow that to happen because they have all that infrastructure available to them. They have the reviewers and so on. We've got papers about uh, monetary velocity. We've got papers comparing uh, the um, old financial system to cryptocurrency networks. We've got uh, it's such a broad range. It's, it's actually quite incredible. Even though people don't agree with each other online and work on different projects, we want to bring all of them in this one place where we have these two days of amazing conversations, even though we don't agree with each other and have a common goal for this industry. What is the, what is the point of defining these things right now when they're still in flux? We're still trying to understand them. Uh, and we just don't even know the shape of what they're going to be. I don't think regulation should come before we understand how something works. With you know, the COVID-19 scare, a, a bunch of speakers have chosen to be remote, which was something that we had never done before. And you know, it was something that we uh, you know, took in stride and worked with the AV team and the live stream team to be able to accomplish. And it seems to be working pretty well so far. The quality was just as good as seeing a, a, a live speaker. It can take your existing website as of now in two formats. And the grand prize goes to Pages. This is this is just the start for Sky Pages. There's so many different directions this project can go, especially with like the power of the Sky infrastructure. So we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Doing a transaction from a web D app, and then I'll be going towards a native Python application. Feels like all the hard work paid off. We're a team that's really passionate about making practical, impactful uses of blockchain technologies to help drive adoption. One of the really big takeaways that I want to come out of this conference and this weekend is that this is a really inclusive community. The Bitcoin community is a really inclusive community and it's not even really, you know, a community so to speak. There are so many different people and anybody can contribute and anybody can get involved. We'll be back again next year and uh, <laughs> everyone can get their Bitcoin Expo fix again.
I hope it happens in 2021 as well, where we could see other people also from India or from other country to come on board and like build new stuff here.